Hi everyone, I'm Mark. I'm joined on the sofa today by Benji, and this is part three of our Pirelli Scorpion vlog. Now, so far, Benji, I've ridden the Enduro tyres, rode those in Whistler, and then we talked to Amanda, and she rode the XC Race versions of these tyres. Which tyres were you riding? I was on the Pirelli Scorpion Race Enduro M, which are these ones still fitted to the bike here, and the front one's up there. These are slightly different to the Enduros that you had to go on, different tread pattern. They're also dual compound, so soft on top, firmer underneath. 29 by 2.5 dual wall which is a two layer carcass of 120 i tpi nerdery like their top top latest tire developed for racing so where did you race them i took them up to the middle of flipping nowhere and did the naughty northumbrian which I don't know if you know about it it's like an infamous super tech super hard super massive enduro over two days and uh yeah i vlogged it all Hello, here we are, Naughty Northumbria Enduro. Benji here, signed on. Got my transponder somewhere. There. Got my number board. Those are the times for tomorrow. Oh, I also bought some emergency Fennec lube. Because I always have to get something. Oh, there we go. Four, seven, eight. There's the tent for the weekend. And there's the bike for the weekend. Let's get it out, put it together, and do a bike check. Kotic Rocket Max. Let's go back to front. XTR rear mech and a Garbrook cassette. Got DT XM 1700 wheels, Shimano XT pedals, X Fuse and Shark, Nuke Proof Super Light Spring, Brand X Dropper 170, Bomber Z1 coil as well, Mud Hugger FR, Magura MT7 brakes, Bergtech Ride High bars, Industry 9 32mm stem. Gusset sleeper push on grips, works component angle set headset and tyres. Gonna give these a hard go this weekend. Yep. Pirelli's uh, Scorpion Race Enduro M with the dual walls. Alrighty, let's look at the map, work it out. Pretty sure it's gonna be over there for the first one and two. Alright, let's head on out. Here we go, practice day, up to stage one. I'm gonna shake down. Bike feels okay. Alrighty. Oh, have a go, yeah, you alright? Yeah. Yeah, of course, of course it is. Cheers, mate. No problem. Hello. Well, stages, stages, one, two, three, four, done. As you can, well, you can't see yet, but can you see down there? The conditions have changed somewhat. Bikes doing very well. Covered in mud now. I got enough water back at the van to clean it off a bit, and we'll be all right. Only practice. What the weather will do, I don't know. Refueling. Keep yourself going. Hello. Hello. That's practice day done. Survived. Got very wet. Got a bit cold. It is August Bank Holiday Monday. What do you expect? Sat in the back of the van, recovering, wondering how much I need to eat and what to eat next. Yeah, got a complete change for tomorrow. I won't be changing anything about the bike. Everything doing really nice on it actually. Downed a bit of low speed compression on the fork for a bit, but then took it off. <laughs> Open up the rear shock a bit. A little bit less rebound, no compression on it anymore, and just use clamp switch, do we call them these days? Lockout lever. It's like a firm up, whatever. Because there's certainly a binary aspect to this event, isn't there? 
up for ages, bit of a queue and get down. So there's loads of time to remember to, oh, unlock your shock. Tires are clearing very well. Tires have survived the shale madness. They've dealt with grass camber roots as much as they can do. I'm the weak link there, really. They're very good clearing, I know that, and they're very good at cambers. Good braking, good all around really at the moment. They're gonna go through each stage, but I'm not sure I can remember them. Certainly quite varied. There's some moorland fresh dug stuff. It's a bit unpredictable, nice. There's some built stuff, There's some crazy craggy shale rock stuff clatter clatter track sniper routes fire road liaison and uphill stages no tarmac at all suits me suits the bike it's steep it's really steep it's good it's what i came for bit of whoa my godness lots of tripoding moments but i got down everything who knows what tomorrow will bring i don't have to bit the start line till just about noon so that's quite civilized right bye bye as is the way with these things. Look at the weather now. Look at it. Looks like an August we should be having. Excellent. Right, I've had a little nap, because I was up quite early today. Finished all the bladder contents. That doesn't sound very good, does it? Emptied my Camelback Reservoir into a little cup and drank it because I figured I'd made it and I should drink it. I should have drunk more as I was riding but I was saturated and you never feel like it do you? And then you regret it. So I'm going to finish this. I'm going to head into the event marquee. Get a pizza. Might have a beer. Plans for an early night. Pizza night was that? That's Italo Calvino. The distance of the moon. Four short stories. Sci-fi. Two quid. It's alright isn't it? Saved in the glove box for such an occasion. And then an early night because I like early nights. And then on to rule the trails tomorrow. Oh, just flicking through the little book, the aforementioned bunch of short stories. And this is what greeted me. Time is a catastrophe, perpetual and irreversible. Now I hope that isn't true tomorrow. Italo Calvino, possibly not the biggest fan of timed racing. Life's too short for you to die. Spread yourself an alibi. Heaven knows your mama died on share. Good morning. Race day. It's rained quite a bit overnight. Grey leaden pall around. But, you know. It's only half eight or something. Pretending I'm two people today. Two flat whites, two panes of chocolate. And we'll see how we feel after that. It'll be a lot better. Alrighty, time to head over to the start line. Kind of waiting here, you're not off for 20 minutes or so. I'll go over there and wait. Put my helmet on, which is what this camera's attached to at the moment. There's stage one. In the distance, probably quite a bit distance for you, wide angle. Not so much of a queue today. All right, fingers crossed. Stay on your bike. You ready to go? Yeah, we'll All righty, cheers, guys. We'll Oh, that was a bit too many gear changes there, lad. Oh, stay on. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Go on. Shit. <laughs> Wee. You not look at that rock, you prick. Wee. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Stage three now. There's no stage two anymore. All right, cool.
stage one down, road better than practice. A couple of tripods, but stayed on. Good. Bike and tyre is doing really well. Yep. Do the act. Oh, my legs. Oh, my heels. Ow. F off. F off. <laughs> oh, shit. Boing. Come on it lad, not losing momentum. Uh, oh dear. Oh. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed that. Weirdly, black cresta run. Ah, oh, freewheel. Up with you. Oh man. Oh, oh my legs. Woo. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ay ay ay. Go home. Not dead. Ay ay ay. Oh the end, the end. My only friend, the end. I hope. Alrighty. Survived. Squelch. So that looked pretty epic. How'd you get on with the tyres? Uh, the tyres were fine, didn't really have to think about them once, the bike in general was amazing. I was perhaps the weakest link in the whole thing. But I did complete it, I did keep going, there was no excuse. The tyres were almost kind of annoying because they were like, I, I couldn't fault them at all. So I was like, well, I best keep going then because it's only me who's going to pull out of this thing. And I very nearly did pull out at one point, but I kept going. Um, I did it all, loads of fire road, loads of climbing, loads of surviving, loads of buzzing my behind on the back tyre because it was steep AF. It won't look like that in the pictures at all. It'll look like some guy going about six miles an hour <laughs> down a field, like it always does. But you have to believe me, it was intense. That's all from us and our series on these Pirelli Scorpion tyres. If you want to know more about all the individual tyres we've been talking about, then head over to our website, singletrackworld.com. Benji's written a big comprehensive article on every tyre in the Pirelli range. And uh, that's all from us. We'll see you again next time. Goodbye.